We are underway this morning, moving at maybe a knot and a half. This morning we left Vasiliki here. There's the ferry taking off. We're going wing on wing. And I made the mistake of looking at the forecast this morning. <laughs> We're trying to head to Corfu, it's about 100 miles. And uh, the forecast was abysmal. <laughs> I mean, we're, we're kind of moving now with some wind. It's like a light breeze, so hopefully it will be better than the forecast. It said it was going to be uh, two days to get there and 28 hours of it was motoring, which I've got enough fuel to motor for got enough fuel to motor for probably 10 to 15 hours at least. So hopefully that'll be enough to get us there to meet Annalene. <clears throat> and then after that, we don't have to sail for a schedule. We can just go when the weather is better. So far, so good. We made it out of the um, fjord, kind of, and uh, there's the lighthouse at the end of the island. Now we're going downwind. You can see the little bubbles here moving at almost a knot. We need to average, I think, a knot and a half to make it there in time, so I think, I think we'll be okay. For lunch, we're making some ramen. We're doing three knots now, not too bad. We were up to four for a little bit. Just tacking our way up the coast here. A little bit of swell, but otherwise the water is pretty flat. So today I heard a cling cling on the deck. My favorite noise. <laughs> it usually means a piece of rigging or a bolt or something or a nut has fallen off. And it went up the deck and sure enough, it was the nut on the gooseneck that holds the boom to the mast. <clears throat> Fell out. For like the third or fourth time and i've locked tightened it retightened it several times i don't know why that bolt always not always comes undone i'm gonna replace that and like wire it shut drill it out or wire it or some type of gotta come up with something better that seems to be a nut that just wants to come loose this weird high-pitched chirping noise i don't see any birds it's like it's coming the water almost can you hear that the grinding of the autopilot. Oh my gosh, that sailboat just came out of nowhere. I did not see him there. I was sitting in the cockpit, like, looking straight at them. And then I hear, ahoy, ahoy! <laughs> uh, but he had his motor on, so I had the right away, I guess. But, I don't know, I guess he kind of blended in with the, uh, the mountains here. To keep a sharper lookout. Good morning, we had some wind, like, really early morning, like, it's 5, 4 a.m. to 7 a.m., but now it's died, so we're motoring. Making some uh, spam and uh, rice and eggs. So I'm gonna stop at this little island out here. See if there's a cool anchorage, maybe. This bay. Really lumpy kind of uh, swell. It's the water. Like smooth and lumpy at the same time. So it looks like we got a nice shallow spot up here, about 16 feet of water. I'll slow the motor down, and we'll just go this on in. Go to the left. I just walk up and work on the anchor. So I'm just looking for someplace sandy, sandy and shallow. Might as well go all the way in there though, I guess. There's a little, little rowboat over there. All right, anchor's down, look at that water. Right next to the beach. Let's see how close we can get here. That is beautiful. I gotta get I gotta get some drone shots of this. This is look at this water. That's cool. 
Maybe I'll tie the back of the rope and go to the rocks. Wow. What a cool spot. The Greek sailing at its best. I found a little uh, islet to tie the boat to. Looks happy there. A little pebble beach here. Man, what a cool spot. And then the wind, I feel a little bit of breezes, gusts coming in every now and then. So I think the wind's probably starting to pick up. I'm gonna fly the drone around, just get a few of those kind of classic shots of the boat tied up to the rocks here. And then, uh, then maybe another swim around and we'll get going. It looks like there's a trail somewhere going up. Can't see where it starts though. Using the Avada now because I crashed the Mini, or the Mini crashed itself. Just decided I wanted to run away, live a different life in uh, Corsica. Um, I'm excited though, another company sent me a drone. It's not DJI, it's another Chinese company. And it looks like it's pretty good. So once I get back to North Carolina, I can swoop that up and we can compare that to the DJI drones. I'm, I'm thinking the DJI ones, I mean, they're great, they're so good, but they're kind of expensive and I feel like like the technology is to the point where probably lots of there's lots of good competitors out there now. trail here. There's actually some houses here. So I had a nice little hike around. I feel some wind. Hope that guy actually sailed out over there so looks like we could start sailing. I think we've got about 40 miles to go. We just need to get there by 7 p.m tomorrow night and that shouldn't be a problem wind is against us but it's not too strong yeah the forecast is kind of useless anyway i think there'll be enough wind to get there i still have a couple hours left of fuel to motor if i need to all right so we'll just untie this knot oh, hopefully it's not too tight all right just uh got back took a little fresh water shower i got unlimited hot water because the engine's better running for a while and I filled the fresh water tank to the brim in Vasiliki so that's a nice luxury to have for a few days. The uh, engine heats my uh, the water here, it's pretty cool. And it finally happened. We actually have wind again. Great. Let's hold up for like five hours and we'll be there. There's a look at the chart. Just heading over to Corfu over there. Not very far to go, really. The water should be nice and flat. And you can see we've gone a long way the last few days, all the way from Turkey. to go off into the haze over there somewhere. Somewhere around those mountains. Okay, there's the moon. Give it a tug here. I think maybe it would have three lights on top of the other toe. Well, last night, Pickle actually, the wind had died 
Um, but it was completely flat, so I just left the sails up. And then I woke up at like 3 a.m. and Pickle just magically started sailing uh, right in their perfect direction. Um, so that never happens. That's, that's pretty cool. Uh, but now we're only, we're only two and a half miles away from the marina. The wind died again. But um, the marina is open till nine, so I'll just drift out here, work on some projects. I pulled out the um, Easy Raft, Easy Raft dinghy, and I'm gonna work on replacing the bladder. Uh, they sent me a new one in Vasiliki, so I have to use a tool to pull off this. Here it is. So I guess that just goes in there. Does it fit? Will it be the right tool? We'll find out. So that was pretty easy. So that just comes out. And then the new one. I think it's velcroed on the inside here. Alright, feeding it through. Got my valve replaced. Get my hand out of here. Get it tight. So hopefully that'll that'll work. A lot easier than placing a kite. <laughs> so I'm just motoring the last two miles in. I was gonna go to the marina over here, but there's a cruise ship on the way now, or a ferry. I said they didn't have any availability. It was like a fort or something. Kind of cool. There's the marina. down here. That's neat. And we're right in front of the castle. Right on. I use my uh, boom bang to make my soul, my boom stay away from the solar panels. I guess attach it over here. To this guy. Panels are clear for the sun. We're giving the easy raft another try. So, I'm not sure which you're supposed to fill first. We're going to start with the middle. So that goes full. This pump makes a horrible noise if you unplug it while it's still filling. 